So all you do is basically get some really good quality honey and you dump some lavender, dried lavender in there, and leave it, forget about it. And you get the most amazing aroma from it. Right, so okay. What do you mean for this recipe or just, you know, just, or just for something to go Yeah, and, and, it, and it's, it's, you know, it keeps, um, and then you got, you, and the, the longer you keep it, the better it becomes. And it can stay like that, it can stay in the, yeah, yeah, the honey. Yeah, it's absolutely oh. fine. Ah. How long so before you get the lavender flavour? What's that? How long before you get the lavender flavour getting into oh, the Oh, pretty honey? quick. Yeah, After a couple of days, yeah. I mean, really? you'll, get it, you'll get the smell, in, but it will just develop and get stronger and stronger. Okay, so for the figs, just score them, push them open. Um, I'm going to dot them in butter and bake them through the oven. I never thought I'd be cooking with flowers, Matt, I've got to say. No, it's my, <coughs> it's my <laughs> modern side, though. Okay, a little bit of butter. You could use salt. Salted butter would be quite nice in this. Well, this is unsalted, but that little bit of salt twang to, to things that are... They're very sweet. It's actually a nice, nice contrast. Okay, so butter, honey, and then 10 minutes through the oven, and they're done. Just until they start breaking up. Okay. They look lovely all My, I mean, these black figs are my personal taste. They're either, either from Flor um, Provence or, or from Greece or something like that, but the, these are fab, but never... Never those Brazilian green figs. Right, so they go in the oven. You get these lovely <coughs> molten kind of mush. Um, and, they, and the smell, baked figs, just oh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. isn't it? So, what? next up, the cake. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like when, it's, uh, when it comes over the end, you let it cool. Do you, do you warm the cake again to serve it, or do you serve the cake cold? Yeah, I would, I'd warm it. Okay. And um, figs room temperature or warm? Figs warm, again. Oh, this is also good with um, doing it with Wimberries at the moment. I mean, we mentioned Wimberries before, but... Um, yeah, nobody just... can ever get them except you. <laughs> <laughs> or, or wild, uh, or, or blueberries. Uh, they're ba basically a wild blueberry, you know, so... Uh, I think they're delicious. But any, any kind of fruit's good with this. Right, OK. So then, you kind of make it... make it look as neat as you can. You can do it all restaurant, eh? Yes. <laughs> it's all the Why diagonal, not? isn't that. it? Why not? <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it that way. Okay, so, got our cake. Again, it's nice, it's lovely and moist. And simply serve it with the lavender figs. Oh, the figs look gorgeous, mm -hmm. Matt, don't they? Fantastic syrup. Okay, so to serve that, Nice dollop of clotted cream, or creme fraiche, something along those lines. Mm. Mm. Now that looks fair, a bit of icing sugar if you really want to get fancy. So there you got those lovely colours, that moist cake and that beautiful cream. I think mean, that's lovely. To make my Tijan lap, you'll need to buy some unsalted butter, self-raising flour, mixed spice, sultanas and some eggs. Make sure you have an orange and a lemon to zest, along with some good quality honey and some fresh black or green figs. Get hold of some dried lavender sprigs and you'll need lashings of clotted cream.